<laughs> wow, that was the quickest turnover <laughs> in terms of getting ready. Welcome to tonight's chat with Studio 10. Um, and I'm going to show you the best way to glow up using their makeup. Now, I get loads of compliments from you all on my glow um, and my makeup. So I thought, why not join with the fabulous Studio 10 and just go through it all. So uh, we'll wait for Grace to turn up. Hope you've all had a lovely day. I've just got, I've just put the perfect canvas on. Um, hi, mum. <laughs> I can see mum's arrived, yay. Uh, yes, so yeah, I'm gonna be showing you how to use the Studio 10 makeup, uh, which I absolutely adore. Um, Hi, Sarah. And uh, yeah. Hi, Vic. <laughs> oh, thank you all for joining tonight. Um, gosh, the last three days have been so busy, but so, I just leave with the biggest buzz ever um, when I leave a client's house, knowing that I feel like a bit like Nanny McPhee. Um, and <laughs> yeah, it's just like, I know that it's, it's made a difference. So yeah, it was really, really good. Anyway, oh, here we go the lovely grace to come on who's going to teach you all you're going to love it and i've got a special discount code for you all so stay tuned you're going to love it here she is <laughs> hey Evening, hey. lovely how are Gosh, you we've both had very busy days today and we've made it oh. through <laughs> all i can say is thank god for a bit of slap because i'm on my knees but i don't look it <laughs> <laughs> so we're all fresh faced okay i mean i'm cheating fab. somewhat because i do have a suntan me... <laughs> oh she's gone a bit frozen so yeah i've obviously got a bit of a suntan anyway but i, I... have put on my normal um perfect canvas so i've just got my normal just it's a very light foundation it's just light coverage but it's just just so natural i mean covers look, it's it, it is perfect, isn't it? And I'm starting to use that second colour, which is just like that. Oh, yes! <laughs> That's <laughs> why it's all a pan, because it's only in the summer when we've got colour in our face. Yeah. That one. Yeah. And so I've been... This is... <laughs> yeah. This is it's perfect been... canvas, which is what I'm using. In the winter, though, it's quite good, because you can do some contouring. See, I need all the help when it comes to <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to just putting on makeup. So I've been working with the lovely Ate Jewel the last few days, and she was like, "This colour is yours." So I was like, "How do you know?" And then I literally put it on. I'm like, "You're right." You know, it's so interesting, isn't it? And I've really kind of not really been educated that well with makeup and putting on makeup. Um, and just, and I need it to be quick and easy. So this is going to be a real quick and easy tutorial, really. And what yeah. I'll do, guys, any questions um, you have for either myself or Grace, I will kind of ask midway. But this is a tutorial, so I really hope you enjoy it because I've learned so much from Grace um, and these products. So right, over to you. So this is about when the weather this is about your summer bronze like the perfect tan summer bronze and glow right and how to go from day to night because even if you're on holiday you don't want to spend hours doing your makeup so i'm going to show you a couple of quick techniques how you can go from beach to bar day to night so fancy uh, so tanning let's talk about tan right okay when we tan, and this is a sort of Studio 10 Grace's tips for the perfect bronze, right? When you go and lie in the sun or you catch the sun, right? There's no shimmer. There's no glitter. So when you get those shimmer bricks, you should never use those to tan up your face. What they do is they add radiance and they highlight. What you want to do is you want to create a natural tan. I catch the sun like so quickly because my mother was Portuguese but I try not to get my face in the sun because I'm wearing mm, SPF same. or the rest of it. So the first thing you need to do is you need to tan up your face, not tango your face, you need to tan up your face. Absolutely. And what, ladies, when you're looking for bronzer, 
it has to be matte. Not shimmery, no glow, no radiance. It's going to be matte. Not completely. Okay, why is that? Like a demi matte. Because when you catch the sun, you're not glowing. Mm. You're not shimmery. And what mm. you're trying to do is you're trying to fake a tan. So you want to bronze up your face so it looks like you've got a fake tan that you've been in the mm. sun. So this, and you know how I love liquid products and cremes, and I don't like powder because powder is drying on the skin. It can go thick and cakey and dry. And this mm. is a powder, but it's a powder with an app. It's a powder with a difference. And I want you to do this, mm. Nicola. If you rub your fingers like that and then yeah. just do it together, rub them like that. Oh my gosh. It's like silk. It's like silk, and it's because it's jet milled. I've like jet milled it, jet milled it, jet milled it. That it's so super fine, it feels like silk. It is beautiful. It is. I'm so proud of this product. I can't begin to tell you. So, stage one. Yeah. Got bronzers. You're looking for bronzers. Yeah. Make sure they're matte. Don't want anything. Yeah. And make sure that they, in terms of color. You want a red brown bronze, yeah. not yeah. orange. We don't want to let tag code. It's not a good look at any okay. age. Okay. Right? Can I just stop you right there, Grace? Because yeah. I have got a question straight away. Yeah. Someone from May has said, What about if you're dark skinned like me? What products do you suggest? Um I can't I haven't got my glasses on. Dark how dark or rich skinned are you? Oh, I've lost you. Can't so see where if you've asked that question, I'm sure she'll come back. Yeah. Um, that's brilliant. If, and so how do we start? What do we start with? Okay, so stage one is you're just adding colour. So use okay. it brush. You should have your cheek brush. Oh, so no, that's that one. Yeah, the big fat cheek brush. Okay. This side. I like this. Woo! Yeah, that gives you. So stage one, all you're doing yeah. is you're brushing your face. So tap your brushes. Yeah. The bronze, but really yeah. do the with it. Oh, not the not the white bit. No, not because the whites are highlight. Right. Okay. So bronze, She's got the same compl complexion as Beyonce. <laughs> this. This with this color, you can really, really build it and build it. But Beyonce's got this will this won't have enough deep redness in it, probably for your skin tone. But the brand I love, I really, really love for like the deepest, richest skin tones. And in our foundations and face products, we cover that broadest spectrum. Is I really like Fenty. So, yeah, Fenty's just yeah. fantastic, fantastic. This, okay. what's interesting about this bronzer is it will warm up the skin, okay. but it won't tan up the skin. The, so that's really important. Yeah. It's about warming up the skin. Right. So how are we doing it? Right. Take the brush, but tap it, right? Get rid of the products on, because if you put a lot of products on your brush, yeah. Yeah. right? you'll end up, it will stick to your foundation. So powder, right. always tap it. It's a real principle. And then this is all you're doing, right? You're going like that, putting it a light veil all over your whole face. It's that quick and easy. That's it. Don't have to worry about the high points. Just put. I mean, I can see a difference. I can see and a then, difference. And then depending on how, brown you are you put more layers yeah <gasps> so that's it so stage one is just bronzing up and it's yeah. like you're literally painting it all on that's all you're wow. doing right i can and see a difference can you all see a difference and if you yes. put, look at the love hearts we can look if you put loads on we'll make you yeah. look like you're the bahamas and not ibiza <laughs> <laughs> That's why. By tonight, I'm going to be like, yes, yeah. I've just got off the plane. <laughs> oh, and I'm missing that glow, I have to say. That is why bronze has to be matte, because you're putting it all over your face. If you had yeah. shit. Do you go down to the neck? Yeah, I always go down to the neck, and I always do this. 
and so just, like the cleavage. Yeah, and you know why? Because also, I mean, a lot I'm of red at the moment because I've got red in. I've got red in like twenty seconds tonight. So I'm a little bit flustered. I'm boiling. I'm like, I need fans. <laughs> a lot of us women, we do get a bit red here from the sun. So I like to put a bronzer just to, you know. Yeah. And so also, I get white. I actually oh, get. I... <laughs> <laughs> same one else. <coughs> I get the white lines on the neck. Yeah. So I'm like, so right. Colour them in. Colour, colour, colour them in. Right. So blend, all blend. blend. Then okay. What is stage two once you've got your color is you're adding a bit of depth okay so using the other end and this is where you put bronzer where the light hits so i like to do a little bit so this is using here no yeah. just bronzer oh still bronzer here yeah. just you're adding a bit of depth and definition a bit of contouring okay so under the cheekbones just there you can put some this is interesting. And it just sharpens up the cheekbone a bit. I hope my mum's watching this still. She loves all your makeup. Oh, uh, your mum's birthday looked amazing. Yeah, it was. It was really special, actually. I think um, anyone getting together now with family celebrating birthdays, especially after the 18 months we've had, it's just wonderful, isn't it? We're just really embracing all these wonderful new times you know so yeah last it was lovely week, not last weekend the weekend before my daughter had her 21st but oh. from two years ago and she had a t 120 people and we did we went a friend of hers had got a field and some woods and we just had a massive lovely fire party it was honestly nicola seeing all these 22 year olds 23 year olds from her yeah. life when she was four from university all out together just happy smiling yeah it's amazing oh, oh it's lovely just so nice right so you've done your cheekbones you've given yeah. a bit of cheekbones and then turn the brush because i like this big brush and then you just put a little bit in the hairline i do this with the glow actually yeah so this is using a this is using bronze to tan up your face and to give a little bit of dimension. And I like to do here, just okay. where your jawline is. This is. Where I forget to take the makeup off at the end of the night and in the morning <laughs> when I wash my face, All I'm like, oh, I've still got a, a you know a tanned neck <laughs> or chin. But you're going because you're doing another. It's a yeah. bit deeper, and that's why you can contour. And you can't contour, you can't yeah. contour with shimmer-based radiant products. They have to be yeah. matte up. So that's it, to give you that okay. natural tan, you've tanned up your face. I, someone has just asked a question saying, is this one color palette for all skins? Yes, all the way through to like dark, deep, but if you're rich, rich, like, I, Beyonce dark rich what it will do is it won't add color it will add warmth right so the light okay. so with you because you're light I'm light all the way up to sort of dark rich skin it'll add mm -hmm. color and it'll add warmth but the, the further down the spectrum it just adds that warmth because it's got that red and it's got that warmth it won't yeah. give it won't darken your skin it won't tan your skin up because you've naturally got that deep color already yeah this is with studio 10 sorry i haven't done a title because it was all it's all been a bit of a rush tonight but this is the wonderful grace fodder from studio 10 um and we're going through um how to create a bronzed goddess look bronze goddess right so now that you've done that you've got two choices you can either put the bronze glow plexion and that's okay. got the sort of shimmer or what I love is the peach blush. So I'm going to use the peach blush and I'll tell you for why yes. because I've already got a tan so I'm not actually using this at the moment even though I swear by it and I all my friends now have moved on to this 
And my daughter is now using this, who is 17 oh. years old and is obsessed with it. It is brilliant. See that, um, that product. But if you want to use it and show people, then I think it's great because I think it's not, I mean, it will show the glow, but I would rather have the peachiness at the moment rather than the bronze because I'm going to end up looking like, so yeah, this, Madge from Benidorm. A, a healthy flush healthy glow right yeah. this bronzer bronzes up and tans up your face so if i put this on i could actually go like i've got a really dark tan okay. so i like to use the blush on top of this okay exactly the reason you said because it just adds that lovely peachiness yeah and it lifts the complexion so just okay. a little bit on the cheeks so am i putting this on with the finger then no, I use the brush. Yeah. So you use the brush. Oh, and you use look. the finger boy brush. Yeah. So this is a, this is, this brush is what you I bought when you get the um the foundation, the canvas. Yeah. So you put it on with like the fingertip end here and then you blend in with here. And I have to say it's absolutely so, Nicola, you one. were listening. You were listening. You're absolutely right. Because that is a finger, so you've got the direction. Just put a little bit and then you just blend and buff it out. But so that's what I do every day with that. But so you recommend this for the yeah. blusher as well. Because yeah. you know when you've got a natural... Right, someone said, can you do a demo? Because they put too much on. So yes. let's do the demo. Key thing about this product, because again, there's so much pigment. Don't put it on the brush because it goes so far. It's like... Right, so put it on my hand. hand. Yeah. Right. Otherwise, you'll be blending. You know when they do this. Uh, you know when they do this. Like all oh, the proper ones, they're like that. <laughs> yeah, they don't look like that, love. They're like. I know. Maybe I should do it. I look like David Brent from The Office. <laughs> <laughs> right. So dab. 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 Apples of the cheeks. Okay. And then onto your cheekbones. Yeah, that's exactly it. With that, okay. And it's so beautiful on top of the bronze because it really. And am I blending it in with this? Yeah, and then you just blend it. Ooh, can you see the glow? Can it's you see beautiful. the glow? Yeah, it's lovely. And because it's peach, peach really. See, normally, really... I would not have my glasses on. I would be doing that, and I've got my magnifying mirror here because. I literally cannot see anything. Yeah, but you're the same. I would be putting it on here. It's lovely. Now, Nicola, this is a little trick, right? Okay. Most women, when we put bronzer, when we put blush on, you see this little bit here? All we yep. bring around in a little C. So I like to blend it like that into a C. Right. But you've got natural contours and most women do blusher like that. It's like really edgy. So it's the C. Yeah. So this and is brilliant. I would not know this. I've never known that. So what would I do the C in? In that or that? Well, I just use the product from the cheekbones and I just bring it up. I right, just, okay. You can do either or. It doesn't matter. It's not that exact. No. Okay. <laughs> No hard edges with makeup. You want it to look like your skin, but gorgeous skin. Yeah. And I think that's important, actually. Really important that it just looks as natural as possible. Because exactly. as much as I know, you know, there's all different types of makeup. As I've got older, I've learned that less is certainly more. Absolutely. But I still want to look radiant. And this you want to is look just... Radiant. Now, the last... Bit is a little bit I love on, it. a little <gasps> bit here on the hairline in the peach. Ooh. And a little bit down the nose. So what's the nose doing? What on here? Just, yeah, just down the nose, just on the end of the nose. Oh yeah, so it's just that extra definition. It gives you definition, but what it does is it just boosts the complexion. It like yeah. gives complexion. it has. It just do you know what? Someone, Janie, has just said it's her favourite product and she always oh. gets compliments saying how healthy I look. Do you know what? I always get the same. Um, and I definitely agree. I think this product just makes, literally, it's just so simple. How quick is that? We've just used, you know, two 
products and we've got all ready this wonderful i mean you look fantastic you can really see it yeah, it's just brightened you up yeah it does and i think that's the difference because bronze bronze adds a healthy color doesn't it yeah yeah but peach the peach that it boosts, and it's, but this is the last <laughs> trick yeah yeah when go you in your hand yeah right, sweep it like an eyeshadow through your eyelids. Oh, and it is stunning. You don't because this is actually one of my favourite eyeshadows as yeah. well. I've got like a copper. Oh, that is so good. And you know what? If you if you do natural, if you wear fake tan, but this is great on holiday, isn't it? Yeah, but all year round I use this because in the winter months I want to pick the complexion up. It needs that warmth and no, it needs colour and it needs peachiness. And But what I'm saying, on holiday, I mean, I don't tend to wear that much makeup, yeah. but I want to have a little bit of definition and a little bit of that peachiness. Yeah. And I feel like I just tend to wear a little bit of blusher, mascara and a lip gloss and that is it. And having that actually on my eyes, I mean, it's really hard to see because of my glasses, but mm. it, it's literally brightened up the yeah. eyelid and I feel a bit more, you know, dressed. Yeah. Does that make I, sense? That blush is an amazing, amazing colour. And it's, when I was designing it, I was like, I want colour, I want healthy colour to my skin. I need colour. And I was like, bronzer, bronzer. And I was like, well... That bronze is not giving me what I felt I needed. What I wanted was that boost. I felt like I needed to like really pick the complexion up. And then I started to look at different colours and because pink's also pink brightens, but it mm. doesn't have warmth. And peach has orange and pink in it, so it does both. And then it's got that light reflecting pearl gold, beautiful gold, soft shimmer. So it just it's a illuminates. Gene. I hate yeah. pink, but what it, it, um someone's Sorry, sorry to interrupt, but someone said, does this work if you're very ugh, freckly? Yes, yes, especially because I met um, a woman in store a few, a few years ago and she was a redhead. Her skin was porcelain. It was as white as white. It was, and she was a redhead and she had freckles. And we were talking about it and she said, I want some colour, but she could never use bronzer because you'd never tan your skin wouldn't naturally tan she said i look ridiculous when i'm bronzed up so i said use a bit of the peach because when you blend you do a very light veil when you blend and buff it into the skin and because it it doesn't sit on top of the skin it will just give her you it will give her that beautiful boost and that light color and she's yeah. still freckles coming through and it's beautiful 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 on there you red go. Oh, yeah. amazing. Thanks Someone's sure. asked me, did I use a foundation as well? Yes, this is, um, this is my go-to now, Perfect Canvas. Um, and I wear number, well, it's medium, O2 yeah. medium. And funny enough, um, I use medium as well. Yeah, and that's what I use. And it's mm. literally like that. Yeah, it is. And, and then it's off I go. <laughs> I literally, that is it, basically. Um, someone's asked, she's, um, uh, her, well, I'm at my son's wedding in late September. Will this last all day or will I need to touch up? Yeah, um, you will need to touch up. If you use foundation or a liquid or a tinted moisturiser and you put a liquid on top, it is not as long lasting as putting powder. If you put a powder blush on top, bless you. Oh no, that's <laughs> annoying. Oh, it's not happened. Oh, it's not <laughs> happened. Oh. <laughs> so if you if you use a liquid foundation or creme foundation and you put powder on top, the powder sticks and makes it long lasting. The problem right. is with that it sits on top of the skin. Okay. And because I like liquids, because I want to be able to blend. Look up even at me. Can you see how it's yeah. just on you? It's blended into your yeah. skin. It has. Skin. I mean, so it's I would not... have gone extra, I think, if I was going 
out, out. I mean, I'm doing it yeah. for you guys. So we're on. But I would just add more. Yeah. Basically. But it will never be as longer lasting as powder, but it looks way better than powder. Okay. So for me, a bit of touch up, I can do it with, you know, I'm like this. It takes two minutes. Yeah. Or if you really, really want to make it last all day long, you could get a fixing spray. Okay. But because they blend and buff into the skin, it's quite long lasting anyway. Does that make sense? Yep. Yeah, so it does. It's sort of you're blending and buffing it you're building the color so i mean i i rarely unless i'm going out afterwards after work i'll put some more on but then i want to freshen up my makeup anyway yeah i think for me you know i mean i find that it's fine all throughout the day um mm. i will take this with me and i'll just dab to be honest yeah. with you if i feel like i need it but um yeah it, it, it's perfect it's absolutely i just get so many compliments um on both really so the bronze obviously i would normally use this because as i say i've just come back from holiday and i don't feel like i need it um but you know what it's like two weeks after a holiday that that glow just goes and i yeah. just think adding a little bit here as well yeah. i just think also as we get older isn't it nicer to have the glow yeah. rather than yeah. two two matte one hundred mats we should absolutely avoid, avoid anything that's mattifying because powder and looks dead on the skin. And our skin's much drier. Our skin is lacklustre. What we need is radiance and we need glow. Mm. Apart from the bronzer, the bronzer powder, because you're, you're building up a tan. You, if yeah. you didn't all over your face with shimmer, you would look like a disco ball. Yeah. See, I felt like... I mean, it's only really happened when, since I started my menopause journey that I noticed how different my skin changed. And oh, I normally good. used to wear, um, I mean, I went through all different types of bronzers, but the bronzers were always powders, okay? And they always were quite shimmery. I remember yeah. using the Body Shop balls. Oh, <laughs> so did I. So did I. I grew up with them. <laughs> and I was just like a... You know, I was like, oh, no. Um, but I found that since moving to this, it just, I don't know what it is. It's just, it looks so natural. It doesn't look like I'm going off, like, disco in, even though I don't care if I was. Um, <laughs> but it just looks so natural, and it complements my skin. It, people just go, what's your moisturiser? And I'm like, well, it's not that. It, it, it's, it's the bronzer. The the bronze glow plexion which you love yeah. you can use that and the peach together so okay. you can put the bronze here but still put a bit of peach in it to lift it um and yeah. the other thing about the bronze which is brilliant brilliant this time of the year if you are going out putting your, you got out the shower you put your body moisturizer on put yeah a couple of pumps yeah body lotion My friend does that do it there on your leg. So my friend oh, did that. She that... told me about it. I can't believe I didn't even think about it. But she oh, said, Nicola, yeah. I put it in my after sun. She yes. said, I squirted yes. it in my after sun and I put it here. Yes. And she said it was absolutely, you know, those first couple of days when you're on holiday, and you're just, you know, you, 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 you're on holiday and you've got all your holiday dresses, but you haven't quite got not, that not tan. It's just yes. that slight shimmer. And she yes. said, I felt fabulous. Yeah, so yeah, oh, good. Up. Or you're, or you're a bit red and you're a bit botchly. So, yeah, it's brilliant. It's after sun, body lotion, couple of pumps, and it is fantastic on the body. So that's it. That is your beautiful, healthy, bronzed, natural tan. But then with the yeah. peak, it just gives you this lovely glow, little, just boost. That's why I like peach and bronze together. It's not one or the other. You bring yeah. them together, it just transforms. And a natural tan looks quite flat. It can be a bit muddy. But yeah. You, know, you, can, you, you look brown, but you can look yeah. a bit muddy. Does that make sense? So you need. Yeah, no, I do. I do know. Because also it's pigmentation as well. Like for me, I get this line now around here on my lips. Yeah. So I just have to really make sure that I just have a concealer. And that's just the pigmentation. But everyone gets pigmentation in so many different uh, ways. I've got don't they? a lot. 
I and I think that's when you so hit oh, your forties. It starts coming out, and you think, "Oh my gosh!" Or if you've had, like, I had a lot of acne right at the beginning of um, my forties because of got propelled into menopause, and I'd never had ac acne before in my life. Um, so it was like covering up that, and then you're putting extra stuff, and all of a sudden your makeup looks so cakey yeah, yeah, and yeah. dry and just not nourished. And I so, think with this, it's really calming. It's really yeah. beautiful on. Yeah, totally, totally agree. So that's your that's your healthy, glowing, bronze, tan skin ready to go. And that's, that's it. But mm. what I want to do is I want to talk to you about day to night. Because okay. this is the other thing. Loads of women say, well, I'm not, you know, we're going out in the evening and they want a little bit of drama. They want yeah. to sort of a bit. But, you know, who's going to spend, we've got some beautiful eye palettes, but you just don't have time. You want to go out and party and, you know, yeah. get your roll spritz or your sangria, whatever you're going to get, not doing your flipping makeup. So I've got two, two looks I want to show you, which okay. is stunning, whether you're the fairest fair, the deepest, darkest, riches. I can't remember who's the Beyonce girl who was watching oh this that is genius perfect. that's may may this will be absolutely stunning stunning and i'm going to talk to you about and you love color and you wear a lot of color on your lips and bright colors and you're going to love this and mm. i when i looked at it i was like oh i'm not sure about color on my eyes but on the pencil there's that you should have a double-ended pencil the sort of it's called teal Yep, which is and one of my favourite colours. Is it? So teal yeah. is a mix of blue and green, right? And this okay. look is so stunning. And all you're going to do, so I can't see without my glasses, so I'm going to be like really close up to you guys. Same. Use the teal, you're just going to put it yeah. on your top lash line. Okay. Now all there's two ends. So what is the two ends? Not, are they the same? No. no different. So one's like a deep navy, yeah, which would be stunning on you for every day. The other yeah. colour is like a greeny blue, and that's the teal. That's the one I'm using. The teal. Right here and we go. So I'm going to have to go, and I'm going to be pulling all those faces like that. Yeah, but so am I. We're both going to be I doing put like on... this. Yeah, we're both, we're let's go. Both so on the top, and just yeah, a line. Show you. you watch, and then I'll show. So you just you don't even have to be exact. You just yeah. do oh, it. Oh, it's lovely. A big fat line. Oh, it's lovely. I would never have dreamt of putting this cup. I always put brown on. Oh my gosh. Can we have a look at that? It is absolutely <gasps> stunning. And because when you, if you think about it, you're wearing Bronze. And would you put it underneath as well? No, only on no. the top. Only right, on the top. Okay. If you think about it, you've got this beautiful bronze, tan, peachy glow. Blue. When you think of the Mediterranean, beautiful yeah. blue, like amazing blue sea, and all the terracotta houses. Have a bit. It is absolutely stunning. Wow. The quickest way just to dress up your tan to get ready for the evening. So if I put my glasses on. Yeah, you can't see it because of glasses, but you can, look, you can. Can you see it on me? Amazing. Look at that. Right, someone's put, your pencils don't stay on my eye. Sorry? Someone said the pencil, pencils don't stay on my eye normally. They transfer above and if I do it on the upper waterline, it melts. Help. <coughs> totally get that and it's a big issue for women as we age because actually our eyes get quite tearful as well get quite teary i've always got teary eyes mm. or you've got sort of hooded up. so this pencil is a it's really ultra ultra creamy but once it sets i'll show you i'm going to put it on my hand there mm. right you can see that color we well, can't see it yeah but when that sets it is absolutely tear proof it's budge proof it's like bulletproof it does not Gorgeous. budge wow but 
So I love it. I absolutely I can see here already the difference, and I love it. And I normally wear browns, and I just so because I. of glasses, I don't. I love this. But look, I've literally transformed. <gasps> you're blonde. You need to put your blonde. light on so we can see it a bit better. Can you put your no, light on? What? Do you know what happened? <laughs> the battery is gone. Let me just see I'm... if I can get it to work. No, I love, I love this. And I think this okay. is a great... Oh, here we go. Oh, yes. So look at that. Yeah. And look at that. Yeah. I love it. But I've got green eyes, green blue eyes. And I just think that turquoise has just taken it to the next level. But it can work. Turk, that sort of tealy turquoise color. it works across all skin tones all hair colors all eye colors so um, i'm dark brown dark haired olive skinned you're yeah. green blonde yeah so on a red head and then on you know may beyonce it is stunning stunning yeah. stunning stunning it's yeah. just such a quick easy look and for those of you new that have joined, this is Studio 10 Conversations, the brand about how to get a day to evening bronzed looking glow. Um, and I'm going to be, yeah, I'm going to be saving this and there's going to be a special discount for you all to use. And I'll be listing all the products as well that we've talked about today. So, yeah, just check out, obviously, the IGTV. Pardon? What's nice, what's nice on that, when I put my glasses on... Mm. Look, can you see how through that, how beautiful it looks? Yeah, I know. And you know what was interesting? It was a makeup artist who said, oh my great grace, I love, because I developed this because I was thinking I more love of it. blue, blonde, you know, blue, brown, blue, green eyes, blonde hair. And he was like, Grace, this color's going to look amazing on you. And I'm like, I'm not wearing blue on my eyes. I've got dark. And he said, no, I promise you, it is one of the most universal colors. And I'm like, I don't believe you. And he just said, shut up and put it on. And I thought, well, you're the makeup artist. And I was like, oh, my goodness. And when you're tanned and you're peachy, it's such a nice compliment. Mm. So I think also I've, I tend to be quite scared because, I mean, I never wore, I was too young. But in the 80s, you know, I remember seeing my cousins and everyone all with like, blue eyeshadow I and blue that. mascara. And just it all just really cr like mad do you know what I mean I, and I know like the 80s are kind of back anyway I like but I know, I know that knowing the right colors actually to look quite sophisticated but yeah. opening your eyes up in a really beautiful way yeah. like for me I, I don't wear a lot of eye, mat like eye shadow I really don't yeah. um and when I do I, I I just don't, I don't know, I just don't feel comfortable with it. I feel like because maybe my glasses are my kind of eyes, do you know what I mean? So I will just have a little bit oh. of um, mascara. But someone's just said Teal Mascara is fab. Ooh! Yeah. Oh, that'll be amazing. Because it will make <gasps> the eyes look bright, it make the eyes look whiter. So yeah. the thing is, as we, and my, my eyeliners are pure mm. pigment. There's no glitter. They're not. Sh they're just pure. I hate that as well. Pigment. And they don't drag. They're really soft, aren't they? They're not. Yeah. Not, like, dragging. They are. I can't. I mean, it's they. They're creamy, but they don't. They don't melt. If that makes no. sense. I have tried. I'm not going to say the they brand. But if I yeah, rub, I mean, it does not budge. I would have to. Color. Like really, it's lovely. Really. That's the navy, actually. So, oh no, that's the teal. Right. So, okay. that's the navy and the teal. Yeah, navy is a beautiful, beautiful. color. So, what are we gonna do then with um, the navy? Well, you could use the navy. I could use the brown. But what I'm gonna show you is how mm. you can add, like, if you want to do a little bit of a sort of smoky eye using a darker shade. So I would keep the teal on. So let's say you're going out for a really gorgeous lunch and you've got the teal and you've I got a need to get ready to go out. Yeah. I would then add definition with either a dark brown. You could use the navy, but I love dark brown when you're okay. tan peachy and with the teal. Yeah. So this, I would do the outer corner 
in the dark brown. So I'd go right over the teal and I wouldn't even stress yes. it. And then I'd just bring it down. Because you can bring dark down. You'd never bring teal down. You just do the lower oh. lash line. And where do you go? Because I've got to watch this because as soon as I... Oh, okay. so would you not go all the way under? No. No, we why? We never really do that because when you start adding dark colours, it closes the eye down. So you need a little bit of added definition, but you don't want to close your eyes down that you can't see them. And especially as we age, we get hooded eyelids. So yeah. you always just do the outer corner. Interesting. Never bring, okay. if you bring it all the way down, it just closes the eye and we can't afford Yeah, it, it does. It makes them look smaller, doesn't it? Yeah. And what you want to do is you want to brighten, not, you know. Helen, don't order yet, because I've got a discount code for you. <laughs> don't order yet. <laughs> right, let's go with the navy. So you can let's, do... Navy. I need the tone low music now. Let's do it. Well, right. you... Um, actually, Nicola, use the brown, because I'm going to make you do a smoky eye. Well, I, d I didn't get the brown. Oh no, didn't you? No, so I've got I've got this. I'm gonna do the navy. Okay, do the navy. Okay. And you know what I love about eyeliners? They're so easy to carry, aren't they? Yeah. So easy to do. But look how well, you know what? I don't top I don't top up my eyeliner. No, Should I, don't. I Oh no. Okay. Especially with ours, so it's so long lasting. I'm sorry my light's gone. I've got another light. I don't know how good it is, but. Well, I am, um, I, blow me down. That's all I'm going to say. I never thought I'd be using a navy, but I have. And oh, I love it. It's stunning. Stunning. Um, Absolutely stunning. Um, you. can you see absolutely stunning can you see how you've got added definition where you bring it down in that outer corner and then you always do the top as well you do the top outer corner and the yeah. bottom yeah and it adds that definition and then against the teal it's just stunning someone's saying it doesn't look quite right the half liner on I you think it does Well, I guess what you could do is if you if it if you feel it's a little bit, I'd be just be very careful. If I went all the way across, mm. all the way along, then I would see. I just think that really closes my eye up. I would mm. probably just blend it so it's not as yeah. Heavy I would probably hard. do a gradual thing. Yeah, but for me it works because my eyes aren't very big, so it's actually it's perfect. It, it's can you see the difference i think it's absolutely it's just opened up my eye without it, it making it look too beady so yeah that's perfect for me if you want to go all the way across then just be make sure you really blend it so it's a very 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 soft yeah very very soft and also you do what's right for you as well mm -hmm. these are sort of my ideas and my tricks and my tips and then you yeah. take them and you, you work a look that suits you. And then the last thing you can do if you really want to jazz it up and you want a bit more definition yeah. is if you take the dark navy, I'll do it in the brown, yeah. you know your creases, your socket line, yeah. just put, almost like draw a couple of light lines just where the crease is don't bring it too far round like that that looks a bit weird doesn't it but can you see just there yeah. and then you can get a brush and you can blend it and it just gives you a little bit more definition oh my gosh yeah. and if i really whacked it up i'll show you with the brown you can absolutely do like a smoky eye yeah and that's what's so nice about this eyeliner is because it's so creamy, it acts like an eyeshadow. Amazing. And this is so long lasting. This, this will not crease, this will not budge, this will last all day. Amazing. Look, very light. Uh, what is this called? Is it called Sea or Peacock? 
C. That's called C. And then the brown is called mocha. So I love eyeliners. People don't think of eyeliners almost as a sort of an eye look. They think it just adds a bit of definition. But you can do so much with them. Look, I'm going to really smoke it up. <clears throat> Amazing. Look at that. Amazing. Beautiful. Just one Ooh. eyeliner. That's it. Beautiful. That is actually how quick it is. It's you so know. good. Bit Unbelievable. And that's all from a pencil. Sorry, I'm steaming up because I'm all hot. <laughs> Oh, and then you can finish with mascara. You know, if you then want to really ramp it up, mm. finish with mascara. And that is day to night. Amazing. You don't even have to worry. That's the thing is you don't need to worry about eyeshadow palettes and all the different colours. I mean, most eyeshadow palettes have about 20 different shades in them. We don't use them. No, I know. There's so many, isn't there? I just quite like an eyeliner, and I just thought the teal for this time of year is like Archer Street going out dancing now. <laughs> oh, well, look, I'm going to say thank you so, so much. Um, I'm going to share everything what we've used today. Um, and obviously, this is a mascara. Oh, and thank, thank you party. so much. Thank you so much. Oh. Okay, all right. Love you lots, everyone. Thank you for joining tonight. And um, thank you so much, Grace, for that amazing, oh, amazing gorgeous. tutorial. You're a convert to teal now. I, <laughs> I know, everyone. It's so good, isn't it? We're going to see them fly out. C, C, C. C, 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 C. <laughs> yeah. All right, all right then. Thank you so much. Bye, everyone. Take care. Oh, no, Nicola, don't go. Stop, stop, stop. You haven't given what? everybody a code. You were like... I've got to give all my viewers a special code. Right, so the special code for tonight is dun, 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 TGCO, and that is going to give you 20% off. So all you need to type in is TGCO, and that is going to give you 20% off the whole site. And you nearly so, forgot. You were like, I want to give my viewers, I love them. Well Can done, I well done. <laughs> well, I will. I will. <laughs> I will obviously be writing it down, definitely. But uh, yes, thank you for the gentle reminder. Bye. But I, I have to say, someone asked me earlier on, actually, and I've just remembered, what are the three products I'd take on holiday? Um, and I would take this, which yeah. is the plumping blush. I would take now this, because I just think this is a game changer, C. And I would take my... Um, it's in my makeup bag, my perfect canvas. Yeah. Just foundation, medium. That They are yeah. the three essentials and I would definitely take with me. What's nice about the foundation, it's got SPF 30. And, in the and so that is really important. I mean, I know I, I put on my moisturiser, it's got SPF in it anyway. And I wear that for 12 months of the year because I've been educated ever since I've turned 40 to really look after my skin now. And yeah, sure. it's important. I mean, my mum's got amazing skin, incredible skin. Um, and that is because she does wear SPF. Yes. So having yeah. the added reassurance that that is also in a foundation. I know it's not complete, like you do need to protect your skin as well. Yeah. But having that SPF yeah. in there is just like, you know, when you just can't remember, there's so many things going on in the morning, getting ready. And a little knowing that that's in there, yeah, one hundred percent. And a little trick that if you're heading down to the beach, you know, when you put your SPF on, I sometimes feel, and also you're sitting on the beach, you get a bit hot, and you catch the sun, even if you've got your SPF, and it, you know, you get quite blotchy, don't you? So I yeah. use this end of the brush, mm -hmm. and I almost just dab in the foundation, and I just stipple a little bit of the foundation. So it's yeah, I do that. Into moisturizer, just to give you a bit of coverage. Yeah, and then in the winter months, you can really layer it, layer it. Amazing. So, um, 
May, I loved your question. She's, we've renamed you. She's just said, bye, love, Beyonce. So you oh, know, you're the real oh, Beyonce. That's so good. And um, someone that you and I know in common, which I didn't know, is Trish. She's a makeup artist. Oh, my God, Trish. She's, she's just here. I was like, oh, my God. I love Trish. We should do a threesome. Me, oh. you, and Trisha. That would be nice. Nicola, but that would be a brilliant makeup session. She'd give oh. us tricks. I haven't like, spoken to her in ages. That would be amazing. She popped in. Yes. So. yes. Anyway. So okay. Well, look, have a lovely evening. Thank you so much for joining us tonight and educating and showcasing your amazing products. Um, they really are amazing. And take advantage, everyone, of this amazing code, TGCO, 20% off, um, Studio 10. Where have you been all my life? I'm so glad you're in my life. Oh, I think her volume's gone. Uh, right, it did sound rude, didn't it, Trish? Right, Mwah. I love you all. Thank you all for joining tonight. See you later.